recent thrift trip, I found this mantle clock looking thing uh, and brought it home and took it apart to find out that it actually was a mantle clock. Just had some weird flowers in front of it and I want to bring it back to what it's supposed to be. First to do is remove all of the paint and I found out that it's actually not made out of wood. It was a type of plastic. So sandpapering it was a different experience, but it was fairly easy. Removing the stickers that they put on it, however, not so easy. But with a little elbow grease, still possible. After sanding it completely, I had to remove all of the dust so that when I painted it, I ended up with a smooth, even coat and didn't end up with little sand patches. I'm using somewhat of a dry brush method where I spray the spray paint in a can and then use a chip brush to apply it so that I can still get the brown undercoat and the gold on top of it. If that makes any sense to anybody other than myself. Using a wood finish stain marker, I went back in and got the crevices of the wood. On to spraying a wood lacquer to seal in all of the paint that I have just added to this piece. It's been a long time since I've put together a clock. Um, actually, I was probably eight years old with my dad putting my last one together so it was really fun to read the instructions and actually figure out how to put the hands in the right order. Come to find out I made a boo-boo and bought a clock piece that was a little too large for this piece. So I found a random metal piece from a champagne bottle in my house to create a little wedge and look at that, she's a ticken. Needing a bit more altering, I had to cut off the two tabs so I could create a bit more space for the hands. Only to find out removing those tabs made it a bit too snug. So I added little hot glue stoppers and covered them with Sharpie so that you couldn't really see them. Now that the clock is all together and the lacquer is dry, it's time to put it all together. I'm very pleased with the results. Uh, obviously, upon doing this project, I probably would change a few things going at it a second time, but it's still really great, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more thrifted lifestyle videos.